good morning. Welcome back to the homestead, friends. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here. Max temperature today about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We have quite a few things going on today. We're going to take you guys along with us. Um, yesterday was chicken processing day. Meat chickens. We got three coolers full. 24 birds we processed yesterday. It's a big thank you to my buddy Phil who we were talking yesterday. It's pretty cool. We've been friends for over 40 years. He came up from Ohio yesterday and gave us a hand in processing them. They've been resting in the coolers on ice since yesterday about four o'clock in the afternoon when we finished. We did film a video about that. It should be out sometime later this week. So keep a look out for that. The neighbors are mowing their grass. Perfect timing. I just started filming. <laughs> Um, but we got some stuff to clean up from yesterday and Rachel has a lot of stuff planned as well. So stick around. We have a bunch of stuff left over from our project yesterday doing the chickens that needs to be cleaned up and put away today. We cleaned up most of the stuff, but a lot of stuff just got left out. We also have to take the feeders out of the chicken tractor, get those put away. I don't know if I'm gonna take the tarp off today or not, but we definitely do take the tarp off of our tractor before winter rolls in because it's really not good on the tarp. It won't last quite as long. long ago I did spend about eight years in the food service industry and I am very very well aware of the dangers of raw poultry and while we're not big fans at all of of bleach and harsh chemicals in our homestead this is one of those situations where I feel much more comfortable using some diluted bleach than I would what we normally would use something like vinegar where the acid would cut through with raw poultry uh, I'm taking it one step further and I'm just gonna a light coating of bleach diluted with water and scrub this down and then hose it off and it should be good. Raw poultry is not something you want to mess with. Especially on the table you're gonna eat off of in the future. Hey guys, I just got home from church and I have this zucchini, I think that's it that I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just slicing it up to dehydrate it. As one of the preserving methods, I've already made zucchini relish, like 12 half pints of zucchini relish. I've made 12 cups of grated zucchini for freezing for future zucchini breads. So now we're gonna dehydrate some that we can throw in quiches or soups or pasta over the winter. But they are still coming strong. So it's raining right now and I'm sure there's gonna be a ton more waiting for me tomorrow. So don't feel like you need to buy all this really fancy equipment and electric pluckers and all this stuff to process chickens. If you're doing small batches, you really don't need a whole lot. We don't have any of those like fancy stainless sinks. We use our garden hose, we use five gallon buckets. We use some tables, knives, and just take your time. It's really not that bad. So funny, true confession. I have never once used this doohickey on a grater. It's a mandolin. And I'm like so impressed right now how well it works. Like everything's just like perfect. So there you go. If you haven't used this little thing on your grater, try it. It's amazing.
So Rachel bought these uh, this chair set for her garden a couple weeks ago, and I got the chairs put together. Oh, uh, I don't even remember how long ago it was. And I was kind of waiting on her to decide if she wanted to connect them together because they they can sit separate like this, or you can use these pieces and connect them together with a it's like a little table that goes in the middle here. For her to decide whether she wanted them separate or together and she finally decided that uh well not finally she did decide that she wants them hooked together so today i'm going to work on finishing this project i hate having projects that i've started and not finished so there's not much left I got caught up on my instructions. I couldn't remember where I left off. This thing's not too bad to put together. I think she got it at Family Farm and Home. Um, these flats, every single one of them has to be screwed on. So it that part took a while. I think the night I was out here working on it, it got to be like nine o'clock or something. Rachel came out in the garage. She's like, you're still out here working on this? Yeah. We're back at it. Uh, zucchinis are going. Now I am working on these over the large, massive amounts of cucumbers. You guys can't see them. That's what I'm dealing with. And I'm going to make this batch of cucumbers into pickle relish. I already did kosher pickles. Todd wants bread and butter pickles made, so I've got all my small ones over there that I'll make bread and butter pickles with. But they are still coming in about 10 or 12 a day. And so I think what I'm gonna do too is, who gave me the idea? Oh, Living Tradition, Sarah, said to juice some of them and make freeze them for like smoothies and stuff so I think I'll do that with some the next batch of overripe ones but for the purposes of cucumber relish we're just gonna take the majority of the seeds out and then chop them up so I was telling my son the other day Nick that uh, and I guess it's some advice and I guess it's some good advice or at least something I've learned is that um, so any of you young men out there who are coming up in the world and coming into your own when you start investing in tools pick a brand whether it be Milwaukee which I'm a big fan of Milwaukee at this point in time, or De DeWalt or Ryobi, anything reputable. Um, pick a brand of tool that you can invest in and just keep buying that brand. The interchargeable batteries and the warranties on some of these things are so good that they're gonna last you a long, long, long time. So instead of going to, not that there's anything wrong with, with Harbor Freight, but you can go to Harbor Freight and pick up one of these for like 20 bucks. And yeah, it might last you a year, maybe two years. You get yourself a nice Milwaukee. I think this is like 40 or $50. This is going to last a long time. And, and most companies, reputable companies, once they develop their battery system, they stick with it for quite a long time. So like this little M12 series, these batteries have been around for a few years now and they're not really going anywhere. Milwaukee's still investing in it. So it can save you some money over the long run of invest in something nice when you're young, keep it and keep investing in that line of tools and you'll save yourself some money over the long haul. Handy dandy tool tip number two of the day you guys don't have one of these little veggie peelers that fit on your hand amazing where do we learn about it um guildbrook farm 
Yes, I saw her use it and Todd knew it would change my life and he got me one. And it, guys, it literally makes everything amazing, especially peeling like potatoes. So nice. This is gonna be tricky to hold this table while I screw it down at the same time. I'll try to use a little scrap piece of wood there. Hi guys, we just got back in the house from bagging up the chickens and I've got zucchini and onions sitting in a salt water solution for a couple hours and I'm gonna throw together the spices and sugar and can it up but I gotta say goodbye because I'm tired and I want to go sit down so see you on the next video yep. Nice little table.